Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Double D's Quickie Reviews. Today, well, what's there to say? It's another day, just like today. Hmm. Anyways, today I have something special I managed to find on the shelf two days ago. Which is weird, because usually I don't find things, but you know. It's pretty cool. Where is it? Dang it, I put it somewhere behind me. Yes, today I'm just jumping right into the video. Though, if you like, you can like, share, and subscribe right now. We'll hit that thumbs up button. I currently have 39 supporters. I appreciate all of you. Thumbs up to you. And, uh, you know, I turned 46 in August. Why don't we try to get up there to 46 subscribers? Huh? See, I'm not feeling greedy. I need billions of subscribers. No, 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 just kidding. Or am I? Nope. Anyways, um, thank y'all who have already subscribed. And, you know, any suggestions to improve, I will understand. This summer, I do intend on building the channel up with more outdoor stuff. I have ordered new batteries for my camera, so I can do more stuff like that. We're going to be doing some magnet fishing and some cool little skits. Anyways, but that's not why you're here. You're here for quickie reviews. And I finally found the item I was looking for. Anyways, this is what I got. I looked down. It was on the shelf. And what did I see? Boom. The bottom of a box. That's right. The new Spider-Man retro-carded Hobgoblin. Now, I've always been a fan of the Hobgoblin. He's a, a merc. Got a cool look. You can see from right there. Um, yeah. Let's see if I can remember the backstory of the Hobgoblin. He was uh, a guy who found some of the go Green Goblin's stuff. Decided to cash in on it by changing the colors and became the Hobgoblin. I'm sure that's probably a better way to say it. Oh, let's see here. Um, to point an eerie arsenal of pumpkin bombs and razor sharp bats from his Goblin Glider, the criminal mastermind Hobgoblin has Spider-Man constantly on his guard. Well, he wasn't really a criminal mastermind. As I said before, he was a mercenary. Now let's take a look at the other characters in the sign. Spider Armor Mark 1. Remember seeing that? It was in like one issue and he took it off as soon as he got through the whatever he was trying to get through. And never put it on again. It was cool. That looks sort of like it. Marvel's Hammerhead. There's a character I never thought would get an action figure, but hey, everyone deserves one. Symbiote Spider Man. Okay, as opposed to Spider Man in the black costume. This is probably from, like, Secret Wars number, what was it, 8? I have that issue somewhere. Ben Riley Spider-Man. Now, I really do like that look. That is a gorgeous look. When they did that in the comic, I was like... I knew they weren't going to keep it, because they never keep the cool looks. They go back to classic, but, you know. And Marvel Shocker. Not confused with other Shockers. But boom, shh. Uh, kids, ask your parents to explain that joke to you. That's right. Son of Marco, ask your father what I just made a joke about. <laughs> Anyways, there seems to be a number here, 12931. I don't know what that means. Of course, over here you have a little picture. Now, there's one thing I did notice. As you can see, the face... It looks wrong. He doesn't have the, the marks like on the mask. It just looks like a normal face. I mean, on the mask, the eyes are big and red. This face just looks like he has red eyes. Hmm. And the armor isn't, well, his clothing isn't chainmail. As you can see, it's supposed to be in the picture. But I haven't got a good Hobgoblin figure in a long time. Every time they've come out previously, they've always... Oh, man, the prices get so high. But, you know, less chitty-chatty, more 
Opie Opie. Opie Opie. I'd like to apologize for that one. Anyways, let's get it open. Now, I probably won't be buying any others from this line because that $22.99, the new prices for toys are just too much for me. So it has to be a figure that I absolutely adore before I'll... Come on, cut. I buy it. Like I pre-ordered the U.S. Agent. Marvel Legends U.S. Agent. Because, you know, that just looks cool. Set that aside. Okay. Oops. Of course, a little piece of paper to tell you that there are small objects. Take a look at his accessories. He, of course, has his pouch that he wears over his shoulder. A shoulder bag, if you will. Yeah, I did that. Um, his glider, similar to that of the Green Goblin. A lot of the ones that they had before, this would actually shoot out as a missile. Not very big. I'm not sure how big it should be. It should be well, big enough for him to comfortably glide. Moving on. The pumpkin bomb. Which looks like a pumpkin bomb. Yeah. So this, you know, the accessories are pretty standard. Uh, I hate these ones where they got the cape through the back. It's always a pain in the butt. Now, what did I do with that knife? I mean, the, my opener. What I like to do is just cut the plastic straight over, and then you can free the little... Whoops. And all the accessories are now gone. Uh. Anyways, here we go. Here's the hobgoblin. The cape is a separate piece. Tattered. The hood. The hood is separate from the head. Though it probably... Yeah, you can see up in there. I don't know if you can, but... Definitely a separate piece. The face sculpt, as I've already said, throws you a bit off. Of course, it has standard body articulation. Arm goes up. It's kind of stiff. Upper bicep. Uh, double jointed elbows. The upper part of the glove is glued on. Though it is a separate piece. Hand articulation. Upper body crunch. Yeah, there we go. The head has full range of motion. Though it's not attached to the cloak, which kind of looks kind of weird. Uh, there's a bit of a gap in the app crunch. I don't know if you can see that, but it's... There we go. I kind of fixed it. Waist goes... It's supposed to go back and forth, but that's really stiff. The belt is a separate piece as well. Don't know why he has a square hole in the back. The cape doesn't even attach to that. The legs. False crotchy. Uh, upper thigh. Kind of loose, actually. The knees are double jointed. The upper calf, upper shin, and then of course the foot goes back and forth. Doesn't seem to pivot though. All right, we're gonna have to take a small little pause while I retrieve the accessories that I just gloriously threw over the edge when I unwrapping it. Let's see, there's the glider. What else was there? Where's the bag? Oh, there's the bag. Okay. Didn't take as long as I thought it would. Now the figure generally looks okay. I mean, as I said, the face sculpt is kind of a throw off. But let's see if we can get him into an action pose. Yeah? Hope that double joint and knee does not want to knee into the right position. Of course, then you gotta get his feet into the Almost looks like I got two left feet, but I'm sure that's not right. It's got to be a figment of my imagination. 
Jeez, they do not want to go into the glider though. The glider does seem like it's too small. The glider should be bigger. And he just doesn't will not get into the right position. Not sure what I'm doing wrong. Let's see, I'm trying to get him into that position. One on the front. Let's go, let's get his, his satchel on. Okay, I'm not sure how to get that on either. This is going to be one of those videos, isn't it? Where everything goes wrong. Well, I'm doing this, I'll just chit chat. I, uh, Oops, okay. I am going to have this on the shelf because, as I said, I'm a big fan of Hop Goblin. And he just doesn't get enough. Okay, I don't know what the heck's going on here. Maybe just over one shoulder. Okay, I'd probably have to pop his head off and put that under the actual cloak to get it to fit right. I don't want to. We're just going to take a small little pause for the cause. Talk amongst yourself. Uh, I'll give you a topic. Uh, the economics of the U.S. after the Second World War. And I'll be right back. How do I pause this thing? And I'm back. As you can see, there's no way in freaking hell to get him to hold this pumpkin bomb. But I did finally manage to get him on the scooter. And I... The head pops off pretty easy. So you can switch out that. Put the bag under the cape pretty easy. Now he does not like staying on that glider because it is much, much too small. Could use like some sort of foot holder thingies. But here he is, the Hub Goblin from Spider-Man's um, retro carded line, is that what you want to call it? As I said, this will not go on anything. But let's take a moment and just enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy this, uh, this lazy Susan shot. Pretty cool, I know. Enjoy it because well, this, for some reason this Lazy Susan got me banned on Amazon from leaving reviews. Because I just left a review that said it spins. And now I'm, I can't leave reviews anymore. Yeah. I'm sure they'll come back sometime and answer why. But maybe not. Anyways, there it is. Good figure. Not great. The face does really need some work. And... The mount, the glider is way too small. They made a, there's no way to get this thing on there. They made some sort of way to attach it better. We even made the pumpkin easier to hold. Maybe if I, let's see, I'm a little worried about doing anything like this because he keeps falling off the glider. Nope, that's not going to stay. Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Any suggestions, I'm always ready to hear. And, uh, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And y'all have a nice night. Double D.